33rd and 34th Street, just off Old Seward, has had an influx of homeless in the area. All this activity has been concerning for the businesses in the area, and has even impacted some of them directly. Lori Mapes, the CEO of Alaska Premier Health, has had to invest in more security cameras and even had to lock their doors during business hours due to an incident of someone sleeping in their entryway. There is constant trash, using the bathroom over on the grass, cars coming and going. We are losing some of our patient base because people are afraid to come here. The Mong Cultural Center, which is a child's daycare, is just down the road from some of the activity. And in just a few days, they've already been facing a lot of problems. Shannon Hartley shares that they've had people staying outside and even ramming one of the cement bumper blocks, moving it quite a distance, and more. Our playground and our stuff that's on the playground and our fence and those kind of things seem to um, draw attention a little bit. So even some of our fence seems to be tampered with. The Moose's Tooth has had its fair share of issues as well, and they've been looking for solutions. We've even talked to uh, outside security companies about 24-hour security. Of course, we've been contacting uh, the, the mayor's office, lots of different uh, community groups to see what can be done. They all shared that APD has been responsive to their calls, which has eased their nerves a bit, but they hope something gets done. Ian Stewart, your Alaska Link, Anchorage.